Do you sit here for hours taking questions on many topics, and you have your big binder full of information with all your little tabs in, but you don't really refer to it very often. You mostly have the re relevant or the ones that you choose to, to remember, facts and figures, sort of off the top of your head. Um, and this whole Sir Tom Windsor, well, not the Sir Tom Windsor business, the, the sacking of Cressida Dick business, um, you know, I think you described as um, one, either you or she were going to lose their career over it. So clearly this is a very high stakes sort of political situation you were in. And yet your usually very excellent memory seems to fail. We have this, you know, this document from your office, which you apparently know nothing about, um, still haven't uh, had a chance to read, apparently. Uh, we had on the 2nd of February the meeting where Baby P came up in the context, according to the co former commissioner, of you wanting her to sack a load of officers, which um, even with months of time to think about it, you've not been able to come up with a single way in which Baby P might have been relevant to that conversation. Um, and then we have your chief of staff, who uh, you s seems to have gone rogue, negotiating on your behalf with the Met Police about the terms for the contractual departure of the former commissioner. Uh, apparently without your authorization, without your knowledge. And most surprising of all for me about all of this is apparently without any curiosity. You know, we sat there for more than six hours, you and I and the other members of the Police and Crime Committee, listening to evidence on this. And the thing that strikes me is you not only seem to have these memory blanks about this whole issue, um, you don't, um, even when you thought your career was at risk, you don't seem curious about any of these incidents. Do you really think that the version of events that you've presented to Londoners is actually plausible?